Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. I said shut up. You've done enough talking. Okay, so you talk. Say what you gotta say. You, Ryan, maybe this is a bit much. I mean, just think about everything that's happened tonight. Hold up, you, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening and you're all in it. Your bracelet. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Ryan, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Have you thought about, you know, not killing him? Uh, I'm thinking about not killing you. What? Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any clothes are gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? What? No. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan, get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two, I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. deal then what do you mean the whole mysterious brooding loner thing it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe so I don't fit into the right box is that what you're saying and what box would that be nothing forget it do you always do that do what 
uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow. Charming. I am assuming you're single. Yeah. Why? No reason. This way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? You know that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. You get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I mean, until now. What about your friend, uh, Caitlin? Is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of closer to Dylan, though after tonight, uh, I don't know. The trauma can bring people together. Yeah, and vodka. So, what about you? Who do you like more? I don't know. Maybe neither. So, Ryan and Laura, huh? Oh boy. Do you think there was something going on there? Yeah, there were definitely sparks flying there. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't tell if it was angry sparks or, like, sexy sparks. It definitely felt like sexy sparks. <sighs> Doesn't she already have a boyfriend? Yeah, but Ryan's Ryan. Not that it matters. Now that he's off on a daring adventure with Little Miss Mysterious, how do you compete with that? Honestly, I don't know if he's worth the effort. I call bullshit. Excuse me? You're in it, dude. You've got feelings. Ryan's just gonna go wherever the wind blows him. Wouldn't be the first dude to go where he's getting blown. <laughs> Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident. And heroic. With an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> There. You know that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. You get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I mean, until now. What about your friend, uh, Caitlin? Is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. Yeah, she... she has the hots for me. Dylan does too. Oh, modesty, thy name is Ryan. I'm not being smug about it, it's just a fact. They're not exactly secretive about it. So, what about you? Who do you like more? I don't know. Maybe neither. <laughs> 